So 24 months out, start looking at BOL. Uh, start looking at your service record for your evals and your awards and your warfare and all those things that need to be in there because that's our resume. Our service record is our resume. So when we apply for jobs and we're building that cell to the next corporation where we can have great input, it's our service record that we draw from. And many corporations will draw from your service record because they're retired military and they're hiring military so they know where your resume comes from and they respect that. So they're going to want to see it. So have it accurate. So start 24 months prior. It's not that hard. It's within the realm of possibility. To every military member, the retirement ceremony is, is not just about you. It's about your family and your friends to thank those who got you there. Um, important for me as a fleet master chief, as a chief, and as a sailor, it's honors traditions, custom, and ceremonies. And, and as chiefs, we're the keeper of traditions. We're the, you know, the element of tradition. And so what better opportunity to do that final moment of mentoring and offering something to, you know, our sailors and, and the people that I love professionally and personally is a retirement ceremony. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.